The first part of this footage, the pouring and stirring, was taken several weeks ago when I first got this tube from the artist and craftsman supply. Although I'm just now finishing this video, M. Graham's Maroon Paraline has already made a couple of appearances on this channel because I just couldn't wait to add it to my main palette. But the point of this video now is that I wanted to show it off so you can get a good feel for this color. I fell in love with it pretty much at first sight and it's definitely my favorite red for now. There's a blood-like quality to it. Uh, I'm not into gore or anything, but the color is both beautiful and striking. The other day, I noticed several dried red droplets on my tabletop. And since I don't bring ripened tomatoes into my studio, lock the door and squeeze away, I'm almost positive it was maroon perylene. That or I totally just cleaned up a crime scene. M. Graham watercolors are excellent quality, and I love them. The only downside, and some might not see it as a downside, but if you pour them into pans, they don't ever get really dry or hard. They stay tacky. Personally, I prefer a dry pan, but since I do my arting at home, it's not even an issue. I just leave the pans out with a sheet of paper over them to keep the dust off, or keep them in the metal tin with the lid propped open a smidge for airflow. That's mainly because I've heard that mold is a possibility with watercolors in general, whereas honey, which is in M. Graham's formula, is mold resistant, yes? But that's probably unnecessary because I use my palette enough where it's closed only for short periods. I would be wary of putting M. Graham in a travel palette though. They might ooze if not kept flat. Well, not here in the Pacific Northwest at this time of year, but I understand it might be a problem in warmer climates.
Even if you don't normally paint straight from the tube or go around squirting blobs, why not switch things up? For a project like this, it's mostly going to get used, so go ahead, indulge your wild side, and because it feels so freeing, take it a step further and mix on paper instead of on palette. By the way, if you want to see more Mgram action, well, yeah, I have some content about their watercolors, but Becky Tregear recently uploaded a video featuring her Mgram palette. And if you didn't already know I'm a fan of her, well, now you do. Color selection was arbitrary. I just picked some colors I thought would look good with a maroon perylene. This wasn't all that scientific. At this point, I had grabbed a piece of scrap paper just to quickly test before adding them to the mixing sheet. It looks really good there with Hansa Yellow Deep, but the rest of them... I kinda wish I'd mixed on palette, because I think they could have turned out better. I had planned to show off maybe half a dozen mixes, but ended up adding a partial second row. Yeah, it's obvious I didn't plan this well. In case it's difficult to read, the mixing colors were Hansa Yellow Deep, Azo Orange, Quinacridone Rose, Carbazole Violet, French Ultramarine, Thalo Blue, Turquoise, Sennelier Green, and Payne's Gray. This is where I wanted to do a quick painting to show light, medium, and dark layers but I neglected to lay a light wash down first. So the first layer was more of a medium, and that messed up the plan. Yes, Alan Quesada does it better. Check out his channel, Alan Quesada. He shows watercolor brands, he does product demonstrations and swatchings. He even does an actual demo painting on his swatch sheets, like a real landscape. Yeah, he sets the bar high. But no, you're not supposed to compare yourself to others. That is not a good thing. Alan does Alan. I do me. You do you. I think I accomplished what I set out to do. I mean, I think you can see what a gorgeous color this is. Hopefully, I'll do better on the next color swatch, which should be turquoise. Uh, that's the other color I got at the same time as this one. Ugh, I miss the artist and craftsman supply. I visited another art and craft store since, but it was cramped and confusing and made me appreciate ACS all the more. 
Sure, their watercolors are locked away from my greedy, grabby hands, but that means they're safe from getting felt up by other fingers. That's right, I just likened watercolor tubes to tomatoes in the produce department. So red. So luscious. So tempting. I'm happy to share this exploration of the lovely maroon perilene. Until next time, stay artsy, my friends. <laughs>